Charlie Munger's take on the market today draws parallels to the 1970s when inflation was soaring and the Federal Reserve was on a mission to tame it, no matter what the cost, even if it meant a recession. It's October 2023, and our economy is facing some big challenges. Inflation is up, interest rates are rising, savings rates are low, and the U.S. is heading for a recession. Wondering how to invest in the face of a potential market crash in October 2023? Let's turn to legendary Charlie Munger for some advice. It's quite possible that you haven't personally experienced a major economic recession in your adult life. But there's one individual who's been through more than his fair share, Berkshire Hathaway's vice chairman, Charlie Munger. He's weathered the storm during the COVID panic, the 2008 financial crisis, the dot-com bubble burst, the oil crisis of the 70s and early 80s, and even the four recessions in the 50s and 60s. Okay, he might have been just a kid, but he was around during the Great Depression, too. So it's safe to say that Charlie Munger has a wealth of experience when it comes to investing during tough times. Now, let's dive into what he recently shared at the Daily Journal shareholders meeting and uncover some nuggets of sage investing advice that we can apply as value investors, especially in the current landscape. Opt for common stocks over government bonds. If you buy a 30-year bond today with a yield 2%, you're paying 50 times earnings for an investment where the earnings can't go up for 30 years. Now, if somebody said, I want to sell you a stock that's at 50 times earnings and the earnings can't go up for 30 years, you'd say that doesn't sound very good. Stocks are way better than 30-year bonds. I mean, it's, 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 it's... When it comes to investing in October 2023, where we're seeing high interest rates, soaring bond yields, and the looming threat of inflation, Munger's advice is clear. Opt for common stocks over government bonds. You see, Munger believes that the current high interest rate environment might initially impact stock prices negatively. However, he emphasizes the need for investors to adapt to this situation. He also predicts that inflation will continue to rear its head in the future, which is why he's a proponent of owning common stocks instead of government bonds. It's a strategic move to protect your wealth from the eroding effects of inflation. Charlie's strategy involves concentrating your capital on just a few of your very best investment ideas. Unlike those who wait for macroeconomic conditions to shift before reallocating their capital, Munger starts with a game plan that considers everything from the get-go. He's not one to be swayed by the unpredictable twists and turns. If you've ever watched interviews with Charlie Munger over the years, you'll notice a common thread. Whenever the conversation veers toward macroeconomics, encompassing topics like interest rates, inflation, or currency, Munger's response remains consistent. You have to roll with it. The reason behind this outlook is simple. Predicting the twists and turns of inflation and the Federal Reserve's response in terms of interest rates is a nearly impossible task. Even the Federal Reserve itself, with its hands firmly on the interest rate lever, struggles to forecast where inflation and interest rates will stand just a few months down the road. So, for Charlie Munger, rather than attempting short-term predictions and basing investment decisions on certain hypotheses, he prefers to stay the course and treat macroeconomic factors as a tide that can either work for you or against you. It's a strategy deeply rooted in adaptability and a long-term perspective offering a solid approach for those looking to invest small amounts in October 2023, with the goal of building wealth even in the face of economic uncertainty. Focus on the long term. As you can see, Charlie Munger readily acknowledges that predicting short-term market movements is a challenging endeavor. Therefore, in October 2023, Munger's investment approach decisively pivots its focus toward the long term, Instead of trying to predict what might happen in the next year, he's all about looking at the bigger picture, thinking about what's likely to occur over a decade or two. This long It's the long-term investment that works best. If you invest the way people gamble in casinos, you're not going to do very well. Long-term perspective is the foundation of his investment strategy. Now, when we talk about the long-term, it's essential to think about which products tend to do well during a recession. When the economy takes a hit or inflation starts to rise, people tend to prioritize necessities like food, housing, transportation, utilities, and insurance. They cut back on spending for big-ticket items like appliances, new cars, or home improvements. 
Additionally, consumers often transition from dining out to purchasing groceries and cooking at home. Here's where Charlie Munger's Berkshire Hathaway comes into play. Under his guidance, Berkshire Hathaway owns a diverse range of companies that offer products with consistent demand and some flexibility in pricing. Take, for instance, Costco, one of their holdings. Costco thrives in economic downturns because they sell products at incredible prices. Their profitability relies heavily on membership fees, with the retail operation designed to break even. The beauty of this is that they can adjust membership fees as needed to stay profitable. Now let's talk about how Charlie Munger has accumulated his wealth. It's not about making quick, short-term bets. Instead, it's all about his long-term commitment to holding on to high-quality businesses like Berkshire Hathaway and Costco for extended periods. This unwavering approach perfectly aligns with his emphasis on long-term investing, and it's a strategy that can provide valuable lessons for those looking to thrive in the midst of market volatility. Work at Delayed Gratification Instead of chasing quick gains right now, you should shift your focus to making smart investments that will pay off big time down the road, like a decade from now. This is a game-changing strategy that consistently puts value investors ahead of the curve. When the economy takes a hit, it's easy to give in to the temptation of quick profits. Who wouldn't want to make a quick buck, right? But here's the reality check. The stock market doesn't operate the same way during a recession. It's crucial to remember that during these challenging periods, you need to resist the urge for instant rewards and instead extend your investment horizon. Yeah. Well, um, it's obvious that deferred gratifiers do better over the long pull than these impulsive children that have to spend on money on Rolex watches and other folly. And not that I'm picking Rolex is any worse than at a Philippe or something. <laughs> but but I think everybody should who's adult should save and not be stupid and spend spending money and and defer gratification to get more later. Yes, recessions can be harsh on the stock market. But mastering this strategy can make investing during rough times a whole lot simpler. Stay rational while the sky is falling. In times when it seems like the sky is falling, it's crucial to stay rational. Charlie Munger, the legendary investor, emphasized the importance of patience and rationality in investing. But why is rationality so essential, especially during challenging times like these? While well, being consistently rational and patient in your investment decisions means thinking independently and relying on objective evidence rather than getting swayed by biased media during economic downturns. However, holding on to your rationality can become more challenging as you achieve success, grow older, and accumulate wealth. But here's the key. With practice and starting your investment journey at a young age, it becomes much easier. Successful stock market investing is like taking one small step after another until you've covered a significant distance. So instead of gambling with your money, it's wise to stick to the tried and true method of long-term value investing. Look for strong companies in tough times. When it comes to investing your hard-earned cash, especially as we head into October 2023 with talk of an impending market crash, it becomes crucial to find those rock-solid companies that can weather any storm. The well, you don't pick stocks, you pick companies. Yeah, that's exactly. But when I was 11, I picked stocks. I had the whole wrong idea. I thought stocks were things that went up and down, and I charted them. I read books on technical analysis. I read everything. Key here is having what Charlie calls a durable economic advantage. It's like having a suit of armor for your investments. This advantage helps your chosen company not just survive, but thrive, even when the economy takes a hit, like during a recession. Take a look at a classic example, Coca-Cola. While the average Joe may be tightening their belt due to tough economic times, Coca-Cola has been steadily raising its prices. I mean, Coca-Cola's been around since 1886. There's 1 1.8 billion, 1.8 billion eight ounce servings of Coca-Cola products sold every day. Now, if you take one penny and get one penny extra, that's $18 million. And guess what? Their profits have been soaring. 
That's the magic of having a competitive advantage around your business. It makes these companies incredibly attractive, especially when the economic winds are blowing in the wrong direction. So, keep an eye out for those gems when you're thinking about where to put your money. Keep in mind that everything will die. Let's talk about one important lesson about the actual value investing strategy itself. And this is all about the harsh nature of capitalism. When the legendary Charlie Munger said, practically everything dies, he wasn't just talking about mere mortals. He was referring to giants like Apple, Google, and Tesla. Yep, even those tech behemoths will not last forever. Just think about companies like Kodak and Xerox. Once, they ruled the world, but now they're mere shadows of their former selves. Scrutinize the companies you own. So what's the lesson here? It's all about scrutinizing the companies in your portfolio. Take a good hard look at how they've weathered the storm in the past year. If their revenues and profits have held steady or improved, that's a promising sign. It means they have got some competitive edge going for them. But if their operating income has fallen a lot, that's a red flag indicating they might not have a strong enough moat to survive the relentless forces of capitalism. Don't turn a blind eye to those warning signs. It's high time to make some strategic adjustments and trim the excess fat from your portfolio. Ensure whatever you hold is fundamentally a good business. But here's the most important advice. Make sure whatever you're holding is fundamentally a solid business. At the end of the day, ask yourself this. Do you have some cash tucked away in the bank that you can strategically allocate? That's the goal. Keep reassessing your portfolio on the regular basis and weed out the businesses that can't handle the heat when economic conditions turn harsh. The real key here is to ensure you're invested in fundamentally good companies. These are the ones with great economics, a touch of modesty, healthy cash flows, and manageable debt. They're not hanging on for dear life, relying on constant cash infusions to stay afloat. When a recession comes knocking or there's a hiccup in management, these are the resilient, unshakable businesses that will stand their ground. And in times like these, they're the ones you want on your team, no doubt about it. So, keep Charlie Munger's timeless wisdom in mind as you navigate the investing landscape in October 2023. So guys, which of Charlie Munger's investment lessons for October 2023 resonates with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. But apart from that, guys, please hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy the video. And don't forget to press the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our latest video updates. See you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.